Hello internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll explain the differences between Google account, Gmail and G Suite. Or actually they renamed G Suite to Google Workspace. No idea why they make it all of this so confusing, but I hope after this 3 minute video you have a clear understanding. And a smile on your face. Tip sweat punch. Let's start with Google account, which is essentially the account that controls all other Google products. It sits on the top controlling the rest. And with this account, you're able to log into all other Google services like YouTube, Docs, Drive and Gmail. Now you don't need a Gmail account to have access to Google products. You just need an existing email address to sign up for Google account. Then you can use all the services. For example, at the office we use Outlook, but I still have a Google account which I access with the Outlook email and I'm able to use all the services like Google Docs, Google Analytics and Google Search Console. If you want to create a Google account without Gmail, check out the video card somewhere here on top. I take you through all the steps that you need in that video. Okay, make it quick because my horse is getting tired. Next, let me talk about Gmail, which is the email service from Google. It's just one of the services that Google offers from, for free. If you sign up to Gmail, you will have an email that has gmail.com at the end, which works really well for personal use. It's easy to use and it comes with plenty of storage space. So this means if you have a Gmail account, then you also have a Google account, but not all Google accounts have a Gmail account. You lie! Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. On the other hand, Google Workspace, or formerly known as G Suite, is like having a Google account but for business. And the prices start from $6 at least at the time I recorded this video. The cool thing is that with Workspace, your email can look something like this. Robert at mybusiness.com, you can see it here. So you can see it has my name and my business domain at the end. Weirdly, Workspace doesn't have all the Google account services, but you are able to sign up for the missing services for free if you have Workspace account, in case you need those services. If you want to know the six biggest differences between using Gmail or Google Workspaces, then check the first video right here. And in that video, I'll explain also why I choose to pay for Google's Workspace rather than using the free service. And if you're considering getting Google Workspace, then I have a detailed video showing you how to set it up with your domain. The video will appear somewhere here. Whoosh.